Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. We're going for take two of a pour I did this morning that I kept messing up. So we're going to do that again. I have Prussian Blue by Goldens. I have Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. I have Goldens Iridescent Pearl with a little bit of satin enamels mixed into it. I have Payne's Gray from Goldens. And this one is a folk art called Antique Copper, which is kind of crazy looking. So I have a thin one. I'm going to thin it out a little bit more and use it as a base coat. So my pouring medium today is not Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. Today I'm trying out the Golden's Gloss Medium. Okay, so that's much thinner now. Pretty much just sinking right in. Okay, so we're going to put this down as our base coat. And then we're going to actually, let's pour our cup first. Let's do that. Down. Okay. All right. So Prussian Blue, third of a cup. I'm going to go some with that antique copper, which is actually very purpley looking. Cool. Okay. Into the middle. Then a little bit of gold. Then a little bit of white. Payne's Gray, some more of that antique copper, which now it looks copper in the cup, that's interesting. Some more Prussian Blue, some white, gold, Payne's, some more of that copper, because I'm intrigued, a little bit of Prussian Blue. Touch of white right in the middle. Okay, so that's really full now. All right, let's put down our base coat. A thinner base coat is definitely going to help you more than a thick one. Thick base coat, you're going to fight with it, fight with it. So water down your base coat layer. And here we go, right in the middle. We made a big long line. Okay, that's all right. Get that out of the way.
you go. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot better than what happened this morning. <laughs> Another quick torch. All right. What is that? Before I drip in it anymore. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. I like this. I like it a lot, actually. A lot of really pretty cells in here. I like the gold in the center. It's not too big and huge and weird. I love all these little cells that are popping up in here. Hey! You mind? So that antique copper is a trick though because it's kind of got like a purple flash to it. So in some places it does look copper, but over here it totally looks like purple. So that's neat. We'll see how it dries. I love what's happening over here is like super wispy and pretty. Go away, bug. All right, we're gonna take this inside before something lands in it. <laughs> I'll show you guys when it's dry. See you in a bit. Zen cat napping. This is a few days later. It's still not dry because it's been super rainy and cold here, but it turned out so pretty. It's just gorgeous. And this one used that Folk Art Treasure Gold series and Antique Copper. And it also used the Golden's Pouring Medium instead of Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. I think the Gold is, gold, I'm sorry, the Pouring Medium being different gave us these very wispy bits super pretty soft I love these cells <laughs> so beautiful just gorgeous so that treasured gold series is really I don't know do you see any copper in there <laughs> I don't really see copper I see purple and kind of pink and gold. But every once in a while, you know, when the light hits it, it's kind of coppery. <laughs> but it's cool stuff. It is rather pricey though, so I don't know if I'll be buying a lot more of it. But definitely cool effects. So this one reminds me of fireflies flying around at dusk. So that's what I'm going to call it, fireflies at dusk. It turned out really pretty though. I really love it. And if it would hurry up and dry, I would be very happy. <laughs> Anyways, it's a very cold, rainy day here. And the world seems to have gone a little mad. So everybody is at home. <laughs> but I hope you guys are well. Take care of yourselves. Stay healthy. And uh, I'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And uh, much love to all of you. <laughs>